Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. All right, Dante's Boxing Nation over here with the man, the miracle man, I'm Danny Jacobs. I'm feeling happy, Dante. Oh, man. I got a chance to meet you, brother. Oh, it's man. It's been an honor, man. I I've always followed your work. I appreciate it. I want to say I appreciate you for supporting the sport of boxing, doing such a positive job supporting us fighters. You put our lives on the line, and you do such a tremendous, respectful job of doing what you do for us, and I want to commend you, brother. That's right. For everybody just tuning in right now, y'all listening to Haseen Rockman Jr., you know, um, it's going down, undefeated heavyweight prospect. Y'all already know his pedigree, so that's pretty much what it is. Now, I see, let's go ahead and get into some boxing talk, man. Now, I thought it was pretty interesting. I called you up, and the first thing you said as soon as uh, you answered the phone, let's go ahead and talk about this news. I want you to go ahead and tell him, what did you say as soon as um, you answered the phone and I called you up? Danny Jacobs picked the wrong fight. Danny Jacobs picked the wrong fight. fight. Woo, the wrong fight. man. Hey, you got Louis, you got Louis Cuba, yes, uh, Arias, huh? And you, and you know him. You, I mean, you know him really well. Yeah, obviously. it's not, a, it's not fair to get my picture. Yeah, I've been, I've been <laughs> you got to ride with him. Watching all these dudes for a long time. Everybody. I, mean, I don't even understand. I'm a, I don't know what if you do that. Like, I'm a gay. Is this breaking news? Because the thing is, I know that Danny was just saying that you know he had a fight schedule. Mm -hmm. I, I seen it. It popped up on my, it popped up on my Twitter. It oh, popped okay. up on my, uh, my news feed. No, I just okay. said he signed a, a deal with uh, HBO. Matthew, Eddie Irving, and so and then it says thirty-five. November eleventh versus Lewis. Uh, uh, you know that wasn't the right thing. Fight the pick. It, it's not. It was not. Nah, that was that wasn't the right fight to pick. Because <laughs> even if he, he wants to look good, even if he winds up when he's not gonna look good, uh, not, I, I highly doubt he wants to win. Let's see. You know I, this was a, a, a discussion. I won't say argument, but a discussion we had last week, and I was talking about um, Triple G fighting. Um, uh, your boy uh, Lara, uh -huh. and I'm like, that's what I'm thinking. It's like, even if he wins that fight, Lara gonna make him look bad. Yeah. He's gonna look bad, but winning that fight, I don't care what it looks like. But the thing is, do you think that your man can pull this fight off against him? I know he can. I know he can. He's been focused. He got a lot of food. He's been hungry. He's supposed. To he was fighting in the same tournaments. He was doing the same things as these, the top guys right now. The guys that's at the top, Marcus Brown, Earl Spence, you know, dude that's coming out that class, he's right there with them. Yeah. So, you know, it's his time to shine. It's gonna be his, his coming out fight. It's a pretty big coming out fight. It is. It's gonna, put him, it's gonna put him right there amongst the, the elite 160 pounders in the world, and that's what he wants. Wow. And, and I'll say, that is kind of crazy, right? I mean, but Danny Jacobs, right after the Golovkin fight, he comes back and fights a, hung, a young, hungry lion like that, like Arias. And a lot of people don't really know a whole lot about Arias. You know, for y'all who don't know, he was a, a former um, TMT fighter, has a deep amateur pedigree, yeah. just like I seen just said right now. So, I mean, how does that fight play out? How does a fight like that even play out, man? I think Danny's uh, probably going to try to do a lot of boxing. Mm -hmm. He's going to try to do a lot of boxing. Cuba's boxing is underrated. It's mm. highly underrated. Mm. I think, uh, you know, Cuba will weather the early storm because it's going to be an early storm for yeah. Danny Jacobs. And I think he's going to shock everybody of being so in the fight, uh -huh. late in the fight. Yeah. And, you know, he has power like, too. He, he has the power too. He can crack. He, he's going to touch Danny. And he's got good defense. And at the end of the day, he is dog. And I think he just a. Uh, a little bit more of a dog than Danny, so mm -hmm. I, I believe he's gonna be the winner. Woo! The day. Well, I've been watching Man. this guy win for a long time. Yeah, watching yeah. him beat a lot of guys. Uh -huh. Watching him win for a long time. I think he's gonna beat Danny Jacobs.